everyone, and welcome back to another episode from our Let's Play series. Oh, don't you just love it when you record a bunch of stuff and then you throw it in the editor to start editing a video and you realize that the entire time you were recording, your microphone was muted. So just a bunch of awkward gameplay of me jumping and skipping around. Yeah. Um, so a lot has happened. We've been on a whole adventure today, and you guys don't even know it. So basically, I'm going to show you some footage, and uh, I think that's pretty much going to catch you guys up on uh, what's been going on here. <laughs> and uh, then I'll fill you in on what the plan is for the rest of the episode here. But before we get into it, I do just want to say that your guys' support lately has been really appreciated, so thank you so much. And I noticed there's a lot of new people to the channel lately, so hey, if you are new and you enjoy the video, uh, consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. But obviously, I don't expect nor require it. You can watch subscription-free. But yeah, <laughs> let's get into the shenanigans, shall we? Uh-huh, so that pretty much <laughs> leaves me here killing skeletons at the skeleton farm and, uh, well, trying to get enough XP to re-enchant some gear, which I will say is actually going pretty well. So we have right now a decent helmet, decent pair of boots, decent pair of pants, pretty good chest plate. I will say though, I am really, really sad that we lost that set of armor that had the gold trim on it. I was really, really attached to that set of armor. Like, that was our first decent set of armor we had on the series. I think our first enchanted diamond set. And also it was the first set of armor that I ever put a trim on. So, yeah, honestly, that's the only thing I'm upset about. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm a little triggered that we lost the netherite upgrade template, but we can get another one. I'll say this, though. Next time we raid a bastion, I'm just charging right into the center, and I'm just grabbing it and leaving. <laughs> I'm not playing any games. But, yeah, I'm just trying to get a decent bow right now, and then a better sword, because nobody likes Bane of Arthropods. Is that how you say it? arthropods. What a weird thing. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I definitely felt defeated. I rage quit hard. <laughs> and also, you know, I was using all my rockets, all my food. I have these three baked potatoes. Our chicken farm's only doing so much. We had, you know, I took most of what was in there out. So, uh... Yeah, but thankfully I checked our creeper farm and it's been pumping out the creepers while we've just been working around the area, which is really nice. We haven't even had to like properly AFK. So that's good because pretty much all the rockets that I had, I had on me when we died multiple times. So these three rockets was like pretty much all I had left. So thank goodness for this. But yeah, I'm going to get a little bit more enchanted. We're going to go find another bastion, get in, get out quick. And then we have another little project that we're going to do today. <laughs> Thank you. 
the netherite armor upgrade template and that means we're never gonna have to do that again <laughs> yeah this last time i was a lot smarter about it and kind of made a strategy use some potions and just drop down into the center it worked out really well i didn't take any damage and i definitely didn't die we also got a netherite ingot from the chest, which was super great, and I don't think I mentioned it, but we did actually keep all the netherite scraps from our first um, trip, so we didn't lose any of that. But now we have five netherite ingots, and I'm trying to decide what I want to put it on. I think definitely on our silk touch pickaxe, um, but before we do anything, we're going to need to copy this quite a few times. So, yeah, I'm just assuming it is netherrack. That's what it looks like. And we need some diamonds. We're going to need more diamonds, that's for sure. And sure enough, we can copy it. So that gives us six copies, which means we have our one extra and five netherite ingots. That somehow worked out perfectly. And with all of our other smithing templates, it's going right in here with the rest of them. All right, so the first one we're going to do is our pickaxe. Uh, oh, netherite ingot. <laughs> Forgetting how this works. Nice. That's going to take us from 1561 durability to 2031. So just about 500 extra durability, which is super nice. And it gives us a little bit more attack damage, which I don't necessarily know that we need. Is it attack damage on people or blocks? Either way, we are going to upgrade that. Let's just put these all in here. Um, boy oh boy. <laughs> I think we're going to have this sword for quite a while. And what does this do? This does give us more attack damage. And that's about it. But I think it'll be worth it. So we'll do that and then <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I didn't keep all my stuff on me either. But we have three left, so I guess we could just do our regular armor. There we go. May not be the best enchanted armor, but it's at least armor, which is gonna help keep us safe and Man, it does feel nice having netherite again, I have to say. It just looks so nice. And I think the, like, purple hue actually really comp <laughs> complements my skin. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, we had another project that we were going to take part in today. And I'm sure you guys are wondering what that is. And sorry to burst your bubble, it's not something super exciting, it's actually just terraforming. <laughs> you see, we have this whole area here, and I've been kind of just mapping out generally where I think some ledges could be, but ooh, it's going to take a lot of work to get this place into a spot where we can like properly build uh, an area over here. So that's what we're going to be spending a lot of time on today is just terraforming this whole area. So I think it's best if we do that in the form of a time lapse. Well, it's not done. However, I am actually really liking how this is turning out so far. It feels really weird being over here <laughs> um, just because, yeah, it's totally different than it was before. Obviously, this little weird layer needs to go. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff I've missed and I don't really know what I'm doing with this yet. <laughs> so that's why it's just kind of been left there. I just really wanted to get an idea today of how this is going to look and what we're going to be doing with this area. 
And I was also able to connect this top layer up here with our portal area, which is really nice. Now, the only thing is I think I'm going to have to slim this path down and cut off a few blocks here on the side because this is going to be overlapping here by quite a significant amount. See, it only gives a few blocks here of space. And I think if we're just going to be using this part for a path, we could definitely shave off a good two to three blocks on each side. So we may do that, but yeah, overall, I'm really liking this. This gives us a lot of space for other farms and things like that. And down here still needs a ton of work, but we will definitely get to that <laughs> some other time. Not today. There is, however, one last little thing that we're going to be getting to today, and that is going to be right over here across this gigantic mountain and in this area here. I'm going to need quite a bit of space, so I'm just going to start tearing down a couple trees here. All right, this area will do here. So basically, we are going to be starting a new area, I guess, a new town, village, whatever you might want to call it, city. <laughs> um, I, I don't know really much of the specifics yet of how we're going to be doing this. But I have messed around in creative and come up with a road design. So, it's going to be five wide, two, three, four, five, and then we also need two blocks on the side. So, let me dig out just a little bit here. So, essentially, we're going to have these polished blackstone stairs on the side, and for this design, I wanted the road to be rather, like, neutral in design, and you'll understand why shortly. <laughs> on the outside of this, we're going to have some uh, polished blackstone slabs. And from there, uh, <laughs> the rest of this design gets a little complicated, I'm not gonna lie. So most of it is polished basalt and essentially, so we're gonna start like this and then we go like this. Basically, a big majority of this road is going to be like this. But there are some kind of, I guess, differences that we add in. Now that we've got our whole road like this, uh, we're going to take our regular basalt and our smooth basalt. Uh, okay, so the best way to explain this <laughs> is we're just going to be taking out essentially every other block on the side and then every other block in the middle. So now that we have our regular basalt, essentially we're going to be going like this and then, oh boy, I've got to reference my screenshot. <laughs> oh wait, no, I think so. It's like this and then we skip the next one. I, uh, I could... Oops, I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Yeah, that feels... I think that feels right. You know, we're gonna say that's right. That looks fine. I need to sleep and I don't have a bed on me. Ah! Okay, and from a distance, you can see the road. It is... Whew, that's a large road. So this city is going to be called Monochrome Keep. And it just sounds nice. I think... Hello? B? So I was thinking we could do something like this. Uh, we can't attach the hanging signs off here. I did bring regular signs in case that happened. So for instance, we can have uh, Blue Avenue and then we can do like... Um, is there an up arrow? Boom. Okay, and then Road Sign. <laughs> right but we can have these little signs at the intersections and i think that's just so cute i love that so much um or even let's see yeah oh that's adorable okay so getting the free cam a little bit now the vision's kind of coming to life right so if we have a road going this way um then we can have a sign with an arrow pointing that way saying red street 
red way, I don't know, something like that. Um, and we're gonna transform this whole area into a monochrome city. And the reason that we're doing that is because I kind of wanted some sort of building challenge to give myself. Um, so yeah, all of the buildings are going to be a monochrome style. So for instance, Blue Avenue, all the buildings are going to be some sort of blue on that street. And yeah, so every street is going to be a monochrome theme. That's why I wanted this road style to be pretty neutral in the color tones. I had some ideas of like adding some red or something in there. We can't. We can't because it's going to clash with the other colors. So a nice black and gray is a perfect color palette for this city. And we have a large amount of land that we can use here. Obviously, some of it is <laughs> disrupted. And we can also create a little bridge here and even branch out on this side. And to get up over here, I mean, our skeleton farm is right there. So we could make a nice pathway right up to here or potentially... We could make a in the mountain hole, <laughs> though I think we will not be doing that. We will probably just make a nice stairway going up into where the skeleton farm is. But yeah, this project is something we're going to be working on in the future. It's not going to be uh, probably one of our main... Well, it probably will be a main project, but not the main project, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of this, and if you have any suggestions or questions or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. I'm pretty excited to be starting this project, so I hope you guys are too. But that's gonna do it for today because, well, we've run out of time, and that's about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!